Now here's another one right here is one of those car hauler guys and they I mean when these guys run these trucks they beat the living hell out of these trucks and this is a, a new short block here the uh, wrist pin ended up cracking and then it uh, because of how cattywampus the piston was ended up snapping a few ring lands and really wearing the cylinder so he had to come back in here with a short block and he's going through and he's rebuilding everything right now and uh just i think he started this morning with uh, just a block and this i mean our diesel guy he's he's next to probably the best in the world that i've ever seen this guy can do this stuff with his eyes closed i mean but this is uh this truck is 13 months old and it's got i think 13,000 miles on it and cracked wrist pin and it ended up throwing a piston dome all out of whack putting a lot of pressure and stuff in the side of the cylinder wall wore the hell out of it and uh cracked a, the ring lands and um i think he said it destroyed the bottom ring on the piston i don't know if it's the oil scraper ring or something like that it's one of the reasons why it wore even faster but you could hear this thing when it was running. It had a, a distinct knock. It wasn't a tap. It was a knock on one side. And it would just knock, 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 knock. And it sounded like a real hard labor knock. And it's not uncommon for these, especially these, these call, car hauler guys uh, that just load the mess out of these and just run them down. This guy's got a whole fleet of these things. But when they keep up on their maintenance and they do everything that they're supposed to do, you got to cover it. This is a warranty job, so... Look at the size of that transmission. Thing is massive. Torque shift six. Yep. Pretty uh pretty intensive work. All respect to this guy. I've done a couple of these now, but he's done thousands of these motors, you know. The old 7.3 IDI, the 7.3 power strokes, the 6.0s, the 6.4s, the 6.7s. He's worked for Subaru as a master tech, working on a lot of their stuff, and then came back to Ford again. This guy is uh, pretty nasty when it comes to like Diag and stuff overall. You know, I, I thought I was good until I met him, and then <laughs> once I met him, I was like, wow, this, this dude is really, really, really good. Just the amount of effort that it takes into these, he's done, you know, a hundred times more of these than I have. The last place I worked at, I was the only diesel tech there, so I had to go through these, and it would take me two or three times as long as him, which is pretty amazing that, you know, somebody can get this stuff down that, that good. Body off, you know, it's the only real way to, to work on these efficiently. Uh, just tons of work that goes into this. Well, just wanted to share a 6.7 story with you guys. I know I don't talk about 6.7s anymore because i don't work on them all that much anymore but you know i had plenty of experience before on everything and uh yeah yeah big job it's gonna pay i think it pays like 31 hours to do that tear down and rebuild anyhow these new new engines from these manufacturers and people people just beating the hell out of them you know you would expect for a heavy duty truck to be able to put out heavy duty work and they do the problem is when you beat them every single day non-stop now i'm not making excuses for ford at all but when you beat them every day non-stop this is the kind of stuff that happens and a lot of these guys want to stay on the road if they don't stay on top of their maintenance intervals like you know on top of them also a contributing factor and if you have a lot of excessive idle time you know it's like what do they say? Uh, 20, 24 idle hours is equal to 100 or 100 miles. I forget what it comes down to. I he was telling me not too long ago. It's like if it's one idle hour is equal to one one mile or something like that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But uh. Wrist pin, wrist pin issues with the six sevens is it's not an uncommon thing. Y'all be blessed. I'm heading home for the night. 
wanted to say thank you for all the new subscribers thank you for everybody always supporting me and being here to you know go through the shenanigans of the everyday life of a ford boss me if you guys wonder where that name came from everybody kept calling me boss so i was like okay ford boss me that works thank you